Things you need to know because of margin trading. Spread betting is a leveraged traded product and spread betting providers will insist that you deposit a certain percentage of the total market exposure you take with them before they will permit you to open a trade. This deposit is referred to as a margin and acts as a guarantee that you will honor the contract. You can lose a lot more money than you put up. The ability to leverage your position opens up the possibility for greater trading profits. Of course, the downside, being leveraged, also exposes you to losing more than your initial stake. Take that example of buying £10 a point of Marks and Spencer when Marks and Spencer is trading at 300 points. This is the equivalent of buying 1,000 shares and instead of having money to pay the full purchase, $3 times 1,000 of 3,000, you might only put down 10%, which will result in 300 pounds. But what if Marks & Spencer announces a really bad earning and its share price crashes down to 200? You will have lost 10 pounds at 100 points equals a thousand dollars you have to pay your trading company that 1000 even though you only paid 300 to make the trade the dreaded margin call should this happen and there aren't sufficient funds in your spread betting account to cover the loss or potential losses on open trades then your spread company will call you to top up the account to the required level and this is what is called a margin call you are legally obliged to have sufficient funds in your account to cover any potential or actual losses each spread betting company has their own criteria and time scales for the customer to make the transfer of funds you should make yourself aware of your company's requirements now being on margin you must be aware of this because you must be prepared to pay that loss. Because of the potential of losses while trading on margin, as if dealing with someone else's money, it's important to place stop loss orders to protect yourself from losing too much. Many companies make it mandatory to use stop loss orders, but remember, you don't want to place your stop loss too close to your current price because if it dips down just a little bit you might get stopped out all of a sudden it might shoot up in price and you will have lost out on that profit just because of that temporary dip for more information visit www.spread-betting.com